All morning. Yeah, the winds will gradually weaken tonight. That is the good news, but they're going to come back once we head into your Thursday. So again, those temperatures hanging out in the 30s and the 40s. Here's the winds. We're 39, 38 in Las Cruces, 33 out there in Deming. You notice out there in Sierra Black and Van Horn, upper 20s and low 30s. So when you combine the winds with the actual air temperature, you get a feel like temperature. And this is what the wind chills are doing. Feels like 32, 29 in Las Cruces and it feels like 29 for you folks out there in Luna County and the Deming area. All right, so here's a look at the overnight lows we expect by tomorrow morning. Cold 24 20 for you folks in Las Cruces. 23 has been the coldest so far uh, this winter and 22 for you guys up in the Las Cruces area. Now if you look at the snow cover and we did pick up some snow late last night and throughout the day today we head up to uh, Rio, so right around two inches. This is a Doppler radar estimate of potentially how much snow that they picked up and kind of looking at some of the uh, views out there kind of matches it and you folks in Cloudcroft area again right around two inches. Then you head out there in Silver City and you get out there in Bayard. You can see some of the snowfall numbers, maybe a little bit more in some spots over there. Now, if you look at our latest wind gust tracker, uh, seven o'clock tonight, the winds continue to gradually come down. And so the wind chill won't be quite as brutal, but those overnight low temperatures are going to get quite cold. You can see as we make our way into tomorrow, the winds relax quite a bit more out there, generally from a westerly direction. But the good news is uh, we're not going to see any extreme wind gusts expected throughout the day for tomorrow. But enough of a breeze uh, to make it feel just a little bit cooler. All right, overnight lows, here you go. Dropping down into the 20s across a good portion of El Paso County. So bundle up tonight. And tomorrow morning, here's your high temps tomorrow, upper 40s, right around 50 degrees. You folks in Doniana County, look at those overnight lows in the teens, right around 20 degrees. And your high temp tomorrow will be in the upper 40s and right around 50 degrees. So here's how it looks over the next several days. First alert day tomorrow because of the cold temperatures start off the morning. Uh, 49, 56, and then here comes the winds again as we make our way into Thursday and Friday. We'll talk more about the winds coming up next half hour. Just how strong they're going to get 48 on Friday and then we work our way maybe to 61 as we look ahead to uh, Sunday. That will certainly be nice, Mark. Yes, it will.